grab the belt and just to show the park of my car over here and I say, okay, James, now I've got to skate. It's not so easy. I'm going to try to hold him, I'm going to put the effort, I'm going to put the... But let's imagine James, instead of trying to skate, he just he's give me a, a weird body for me to hold. Now, how does weird body going to do? Hold it up there. So from here, my chest and James' chest, they're connected. My back's on the ground. I'm going to try to skate by bridge. Don't go too far. No, no matter your foot, no throttling. So the bridge, not going to work. I'm going to try to go push that way. Oh, not very good either. I'm going to try to go not that way either. So no matter what I do here, this guy here is just holding. Now I'm going to have to skate. Huh? Left arm, the right under, left to right move. He's still in the same spot. Haven't done anything. Now you put put weight on me, don't let me go, let me go, let me go. Now what way to do that if I if I start to put myself in an edge, from that edge, my opponent has to put weight back against me to bring me back. Or to not let me go underneath. So now it's not just me on the bottom, I'm trying to shape here from the ground zero. I put myself first on the edge, I move my hips, now I move my shoulder. What happens is that my body now is no longer as a flat pancake when somebody can just lay on top. Now my body now is on an angle and I'm giving the edge of my, to my opponent. That's when my opponent on top is so going to be rolling on top of this edge, not on top of a pancake. Pancake, nightmares. Guess what? Your legs are facing the ceiling, your arms are facing the ceiling, and you try to move somebody completely against the ground. If you put yourself on the edge, what you did, you got your both legs, your both arms facing your opponent. And your opponent now is trying to hold you down like this. Instead, so escape from cross body position. You got many other options, you got many others, so of course, not easy to practice. But you gotta think about how can you do, how can you make your opponent collaborate with you? Just on the edge. That's number one. After that, we can try to do the skate, we can try to put the guy back in the guard, we can try to dis disrupt the guy's balance, we can push a pull, we can start to create problems. But if you don't have yourself on the edge, it's a nice it's, it's, it's a fight that then you gotta get you gotta get very powerful like wrestlers. We have to just explode it from the bottom, to try to flip. If you have a good to just get on top of you, you go out to pitch hike, and eventually kind of catch you. Yeah, you're skipping across the fire now, but the guy's in the back. You're skipping across the fire, but the other guy's in the mouth. So it's not a good idea. Anyway, 